Asbestos is a known carcinogen, and there's no safe level of exposure. Mesothelioma is a miserable disease. They must fight a truly global battle. We want to demonstrate our enormous respect. Keep up the good work. I look forward to the day when ADAO is no longer needed. Fix it. Fix it. Everything in the world can be fixed. Keep me in your heart for a while. Um, our next presenter is Siobhan, also from the UK. And ADAO is very happy to partner with their organization. They're actually building an e-learning module. And we're providing the content that will be um, used freely within the United States. So a homeowner will then be able to go in and see where within their house asbestos might be found and what to do. Because the common questions we get is, what is it? Where is it? What do I do? Siobhan's going to tell you a little bit about what they do. So please welcome. Welcome her. Anything? No, good, thank you. Yeah. Good afternoon, everybody. Um, firstly, I'd just like to thank Christine Winter um, for introducing us to Linda, because we've had a, a fantastic opportunity, as Linda just touched upon, and we're delighted to create and introduce today the ADAO Homeowners Asbestos Awareness Course, and it's an e-learning module. So, as I said, I'll be talking about empowering asbestos safety through e-learning today, and that's a tool that we've been using in the UK for over four years now, very successfully. So, NATAS, um, as an acronym, was established in 1996 in the UK, and we're a very established brand um, in the asbestos training industry. We're also actively involved with the health and safety executive and many other stakeholders with many initiatives such as the training pledge that Christine touched upon. Um, so when NATUS was initially established, as I said, in 1996, our main aim was to improve the training standards in the UK by providing a structured and quality training scheme for the asbestos industry. But at this time in the UK, there was no actually established effective trading guidance or any standards available to any industry. So our main message today that we're going to speak about is the, the project of delivering asbestos awareness. So NATUS identified that the asbestos training industry would not have the capacity to deliver training to HSE's target audience within an appropriate time scale. So without an alternative solution to traditional classroom training, as we said, is four hours um, a day and there's logistical and cost problems that can stop people receiving these training before entering um, a work site, NATAS came up with the solution of delivering an e-learning version of the courses. So just to introduce e-learning, e-learning provides on-demand learning, ensuring consistency of delivery and the traceability of, of assessments, which obviously targets the point that sometimes training courses, depending on the tutor, can, um, can be quite different in the content and the information. So independent learning op offers flexible training with accessibility to support from online professional tutors. So that compensates for the interactiveness of classroom training and also creates a bit of an online community where people can discuss, their, um, to discuss any instances that have occurred in their workplace so that they can build a community. And the professional tutors are available, and it's unrestricted information due to geographical um, or availability of time. With it being e-learning, it's available 24-7 on the internet. So as I say, the solution, Natus feels that e-learning is the solution to delivering as much training to as many people quickly. So NATA set about developing the first version of our UK e-learning module in 2009, which was received with great interest from several industry stakeholders, particularly the health and safety executive. They understand that there's a very big target audience that needs this training delivered, and e-learning is the main tool that will be able to um, deliver this in an appropriate timescale. So following the launch of the NATUS e-learning course and uh, HSE's subsequent review, um, they made their first recognition of e-learning for any of its health or safety departments. So just to, to summarise, they said that HSE recognises the use of e-learning as a viable delivery method. And this was a, a great step forward, being as in the, the whole health and safety division, 
asbestos is the, their main priority and they recognise e-learning as a suitable tool. Following the um, health and safety executive's um, announcement, we actually received um, the coveted BSIF Award for Safety Excellence by the Royal Society for the Prevention of Accidents Awards. And that was based on a case study of a um, home association who had over a thousand delegates who were going to work on sites throughout the UK who would not have received any asbestos awareness training without an e-learning program. With the program, they were able to receive training within three months, and that was over a thousand delegates. So this is quite an exciting and new project that, um, you, that NATUS have been commissioned um, to work on. It's a voluntary um, project, and it's the UK Department for Education. The um, schools and education industry in the UK have received a lot of press coverage with regards to asbestos exposure in schools. So we have, um, we're working at the moment on a, a solution which will launch on October the 2nd in the UK, which is available for all head teachers, governors, and teaching staff in the United Kingdom. And we're estimating in the first year alone there will be 10,000 delegates that will receive this information that they would not have been able to receive if classroom training was the only option. And um, many stakeholders have been involved in this voluntary project from the HSC to UK unions, victim support groups and campaigners, and we've all come together to make sure that the solution um, suits the target audience. So with e-learning, NATUS has been able to go global. So with um, China's growing population, e-learning is the most viable method of ensuring training can be delivered, and it has been adopted by many of our partners. Um, NATUS has a Saudi Arabia-based uh, Arabia partner who is soon to adopt asbestos e-learning into their safety culture. Now, that's very forward-thinking um, companies who we're working with at the moment. And the e-learning course also provides a more viable training tool for larger countries where there's, it, it helps to eliminate geograph geographical and logistical restrictions. So just to introduce Ashila is the Asbestos Safety Health and Environmental e-learning association. It's a not-for-profit organization. Once um, the health and safety executive um, made their announcement recognising e-learning, they realised that there would be some sort of quality control procedure required in order to police any e-learning courses that were coming into the market that weren't delivering the right information. So Ashila provides accreditation for e-learning courses and also any other delivery systems, distance, uh, distance learning, etc., uh, in order for them to satisfy the needs of stakeholders, clients, and providers. And we audit for content, quality, security, as well as educational value. So really, Ashila's main aims and objectives is to ensure that all the courses that are available on the market are quality controlled and approved by specialists. So just to quickly touch upon the um, Hidden Killer campaign that we're all very proud of in the UK and we're hoping to run again um, next year. Um, we, as Ashila, delivered over 4,000 hours of free e-learning. And again, we feel that many of the people that took up this training may not have had an opportunity to go to a classroom or to take the time out um, to, to, to go and have a full day's training, whereas e-learning they could do it the night before they were due on site in order to get the um, important message. So we're very, very honoured to be here today. Thank you, Linda. Um, and to partner with ADAO, and in May we're um, very excited to launch the um, e-learning module that is free to access that we've created um, partnering with ADAO. So the, the course is aimed at homeowners as an awareness raising module. And the UK course has been tailored to meet the requirements of US ho homeowners and workers alike to, to provide the first step in becoming asbestos aware. So as Christine touched upon, the internet, we feel, is a very, very powerful tool in order to deliver the very important safety message to as many people as quickly as we can. So as we mentioned, with social networking, information is available 24-7. So with the use of this e-learning tool, it's 20 to 30 minutes out of your time, and a very important life-saving message can be delivered. And also, I think a key point about this course in the US, this course would be free to access and worldwide on the US regulations, but it eliminates any financial or logistical obstacles, and the awareness message will, receive, will be received by a wider audience. 
So just to once again say thank you to Linda and we're very excited to share with you the course and hope you all enjoy it. Thank you very much. Keep up the good work. I look forward to the day when ADAO is no longer needed. Fix it. Fix it. Everything in the world can be fixed.